Alright, it's time to take a look at the new ATGM missile carrier. Now my favorite ATGM missile carrier is still the IT-1. That tank is... that medium tank is still unbeatable when it comes to stealth and when it comes to firepower. Now, uh, this is the CM-25 and you might be asking, well, this... I have seen this vehicle somewhere. And yeah, I would agree. Uh, this vehicle is very similar to the PVRBV, which is the Swedish uh, Swedish ATGM carrier. And when we look at the vehicles, there they are very similar. There is very little, uh, very little difference. The ATGM is attached a bit back on this vehicle, while on the PVRB, it's attached a bit to. Uh, to the front and this vehicle also has a machine gun but when it comes to penetration it's about the same 630 millimeters is the average penetration both vehicles have absolutely no armor although this this uh, this is actually much faster than, than the pvrb which is a very welcome thing uh, this this tank is at least quite uh, quite speedy and there is also a, a difference in the ATGM itself, uh, the PVRB has a wider range of rotation, while the rotation on this ATGM is a bit limited, and I think you will see that in combat. So, <laughs> let's see what this uh, thing can do. Now, I've said the IT-1 remains the best ATGM tank in the game, and the best ATGM vehicle overall. Mostly because it has armor, it has speed, it's very stealthy, very low profile, and the missile is basically attached on top of the tank, so you can literally shoot while your whole tank is covered. While these vehicles, as you can see, obviously they have no armor, they're, they're faster in, in, uh, in some cases, but they're huge, they're definitely not, not stealthy vehicles, and as you can see, this is a box, basically. Uh, and the the gunner is exposed. I mean, yeah, armor is yeah. For, for forget about armor. Armor, there is no armor on on these uh, on these tanks. The way how you survive is basically shoot from cover or shoot from very very long range, or shoot at your target while the target is distracted by someone else. Now, usually uh, up until this uh, this ATGM carrier, you can technically shoot and basically move back to cover. Now with this vehicle you can do that. If you shoot and move the ATGM will move with the vehicle. It's not going to be moving according to your aim as it should but it's going to move with the vehicles. It's with the vehicle itself. The IT-1, the PVRB for example you can fire and basically move to cover, the missile is not going to lose, it's not going to move unless you move the actual aim. You can move the vehicle with the other, with the other ATGM carriers, but you can't uh, do that with this thing, because if you do that, your ATGM might miss the target. So that's uh, one uh, massive difference between the vehicles, and this is, I would say, one of the biggest drawbacks of the CM25. The fact that you can't move, you can't open fire and then move while the missile is flying because it's going to mess up your aim. And that is very important for these vehicles because you can't really afford to be in the open that long since you have no armor and if your gunner is killed by the way, you can't move the, you, you can't maneuver the missile anymore. So the gunner has to be alive if you want to guide the missile to the target, which is not the case with the IT-1 and the PVRB. With, the, with those vehicles you can easily just fire, even if your gunner gets hit, the missile will still go where you're aiming, so yeah. There, there, there are differences between the PVRB and CM-25. Although I have to say I really like the stability of this rocket, it it does uh, it is more stable than the IT-1 rocket, that's for sure. Well, this is a Tau system to be more accurate, to be more precise. But you know, a, a missile is a missile. But yeah, 
Uh, it, it is very precise, very accurate. Penetrates a lot more than the IT one, although, as we all have already established, penetration with a missile, yeah, uh, it, it's nice, but 440 millimeters is still more than enough with the IT one. I mean, the IT one is definitely the vehicle to go with once you start leveling up because it is so easy to play and it is going to make so much experience for leveling up and it also can help you with the with silver and uh, one important thing I, I forgot to mention this little position here uh, is insanely good for this vehicle this position right here is probably the best ATGM position of any map that you can have the IT one if you can manage to climb with the IT one here that that thing is, go is going to cause absolute chaos from this position since you have a view on everything basically if your opponent isn't careful there, there will be in the open and that's where you are opening fire and besides the um, IT one you can do the same thing with uh, with any tank basically, it doesn't have to be a uh, a ATGM carrier, you can just go with a destroyer, with a medium tank, a basically you can try to get any tank up in this location and it's going to work, although I prefer to go here with the ATGM carrier because it has literally no armor and it's a huge box so you can't really you can't really be anywhere else with this vehicle since if you're if you're down there if you're down on uh on in the water for example the enemy can spot you and since you have literally no armor you can get it blown up quite easily so this vehicle relies on stealth relies on range and th on this map this is literally the best position at least on this side on the other side it's a bit more difficult although I, I'm fairly sure you can find a, a same hill you can find a very similar hill on the other side as well it's just that with the other side I didn't have much luck uh, because the game just doesn't want to give me enough luck for some reason but from this position you can easily cover your team, you can cover your base you can technically shoot enemy base as well so it's a, it's a fantastic position honestly now this vehicle has only 10 missiles which is very similar to how the PVRB operates although it has 2 missiles more than the PVRB the PVRB has literally the lowest missile count all of any ATGM carrier in uh, any any ATGM vehicle in the game, which means that you can't really afford to miss, uh, you, since you know the reload takes a while when you reload the whole the whole missile clip. So you want to make sure that all your missiles hit the targets, just so that every missile counts. And for the most part, I've done a pretty good job here, although... Th I mean, there, there is just so much objects around here. So much objects around. You can easily miss the target if you're not looking at the right direction. So, the new map is beautiful. It's huge. Uh, but it, it does have a learning curve. And I'm playing on maximum settings right now. And honestly... Uh, the maximum settings on this map is kind of... Uh, I, w I wouldn't advise that because because of the grass and stuff you are not going to be able to see anything in some cases in some areas. Frame rate is fine. I, I have actually limited the, pr the, the FPS so that my battery lives long longer but but yeah uh, the map is beautiful that's for sure but the grass the grass gets in the way can't see anything in in some positions because the grass is just literally in your camera so medium settings 
yeah, they're the best settings in the game, honestly. Little to no grass. The game still looks decently okay. And you can see the tank, the enemy tank, without... Without any problems. And on maximum, I, I don't know, I, I found myself struggling to see the enemy because of, of the graph. There's so much stuff moving around, it's, it's pretty wild. And yes, I wanted to f see if there is an, any fall damage. So uh, I yeeted my tank off the cliff, quite literally. And well, the tank survived somehow. Even the gunner that, that got squashed somehow survived being basically squashed by the APGM. This, this game can be some, sometimes quite funny to be honest. Alright, let's go to the next. To the next round, and this is probably the best map that we can find for for any a, any ATGM carrier. And two juicy targets. There is the first one down, pulling back to reload, since the gunner can be killed quite easily. Now this tank has a very weird, uh, not exactly hitbox, but if you manage to land a direct hit in the missile in, in the in the tau system itself it kills the tank so this is definitely the most vulnerable the most paper ATGM vehicle in the game nothing is as paper and as easy to kill as this vehicle and speaking of being easy to kill artillery Anywhere, if it if the splash lands like 20 meters away from you, it will damage your tank. So, and definitely, if you see the artillery strike icon, the best thing to do is just run away from the position since any splash damage, any high explosive shell is killing the tank. Anything close, in close proximity to the to this vehicle, which. It makes it a bit more difficult to drive. And I'm personally not really, not really a fan of how how papered these these things are. That's why the IT one is such a good tank because it doesn't suffer from the same problem that the other ATGM vehicles do suffer from. But I'll try to get as many kills as possible because why not? You can always make sure that the bomber, that the enemy bombers are are not going to for you, since this vehicle is quite the target for bombers. Has no armor basically, so not really surprised by that. Oh look, am I going to go to the double kill? Nope. I guess no double kill for me today. If it were a IT one, this would have been a double kill, but I guess not today. There we go, one more tank destroyed. Nice. Its reverse speed is not that bad actually. I like the reverse speed on this vehicle. Oh look, DTNA destroyed, ammunition exploded. Nice. It's a very sneak, well, sneak, definitely not a sneak vehicle with, I mean, just look at it, it it's a huge box. Th this is as stealthy as, as a nuclear explosion, basically, so, yeah, you can't, you can't miss it. You can't miss this huge box. Well, I got about nine kills, I believe, which is pretty good. Can't really complain about the score. I mean, I've been playing the the missile carriers quite a while, and honestly, they're, they're quite fun. I mean, I, I like to I like to spam ATGMs. That's for sure. It's very fun to to use them. They're very fun to to be 
and it gives me the slowest aircraft possible. The Messerschmitt is not a bad plane, but it doesn't stand a chance against these fast bombers, so just yeeting it at the ground so I can get back in the tank. Just in case this bomber tries to go for me. There we go, one more kill, nice. Okay, seems the bomber isn't interested in me, at least not at the moment. No bombs around me? Yep, no bombs around me. Okay, good to know. Very good to know, very important to know. Look, another tank, but I'm reloading the ammo. I ran out of missiles, unfortunately, so wasn't able to wasn't able to kill that tank. At least not with my not with the vehicle. But let's see if I can do something with the aircraft. Okay, bombs launched. Let's just plant the aircraft in the in the, in the ground. There we go. Alright, missiles reloaded, and now... Oh, I got one kill, okay, that's good. I got one kill, perfect. I'll take it. Leopards... There we go, nice. Leopard destroyed. And nine missiles left. And someone decided to spam artillery on my position, so I'll just move out. And I'll just wait for the artillery to, to stop shelling my position and then I'll return. Oh look, a T-62. Well, that has to be, that, that tank has to be destroyed. Seems like they are unaware that I'm here. Alright, well, there we go. T-62 has been destroyed. That was a very nice one. Oh look, a object coming towards me. Well, let's see if I can get the kill. Will be funny if I can. Well, someone else got a kill with artillery, surprisingly. I actually thought my artillery got him, but it wasn't my artillery, it was someone else's. T-55A, let's see if they are going to come here. Yes, they will. There we go. Nice. One more kill. Six missiles left. Okay. And I got killed by artillery because I wasn't careful enough. Oh well, it was still a pretty good run, honestly. It was still a pretty good run with the, with the CM25. Honestly, I kind of like this vehicle. It's uh, it's a very interesting little, ta little tank. It, not exactly like a tank, but uh, it's a pretty interesting little vehicle. And definitely can be enjoyable to, to use, but it is definitely kind of difficult to drive because it has basically no armor and re it relies on stealth and it relies on uh, on cover but with that being said that would be it for today with the cm25 again uh, a very interesting vehicle and if you like to use the vehicles with atgms then then this is definitely a a worthy to have vehicle i would say it has the potential to be very fun that's for sure i mean i had fun with it and as you can see it works really well uh, when you have a when you have a good position 
the tank, well, the tank, and the vehicle does shine really well. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, stay safe. And as always, I'll see you next time.